Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Pure Accelerate 2017. Brought to you by Pure Storage. Welcome back to Pure Accelerate 2017. We're here at Pier 70 in San Francisco. I'm Dave Vellante with my co-host, Stu Miniman. We're switching things up a little bit. Scott Dietzen's still on stage, wrapping up the keynotes. We're about a half hour late. Buses were running late today, so we're going to adjust a little bit. Vic Naji is here. He's the CTO of Healthcare for Pure Storage, and he's with Satya Sankaran, who is uh, with Catalogic. Gents, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, to thanks see you. for having us. So Vic, let's start with you. Healthcare and your title, interesting. I, I don't think, I've, well, maybe very rarely do you see a storage company, especially one that's slightly under a billion dollars, with healthcare in somebody's title. So what's that all about? You guys obviously, strategy and healthcare and life sciences, data-driven industry, you guys are all about the data these days, but how'd you come up, you know, how'd you come to this and tell us about what's going on in the healthcare world? Absolutely, yeah, you're, you're, you're absolutely correct. You know, uh, coming from healthcare IT over several, several, several years, um, it's been slow comings in terms of infrastructure companies in and of themselves saying, hey, let's get really serious about healthcare as a vertical and bringing in people or subject matter experts and have done healthcare for a very long period of time. But I think the, 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 the realization was uh, an inflection point in terms of saying, we've actually as an industry spent so much money on digitizing healthcare, uh, that we've actually gotten to a point where we need to start seeing some returns on that. And the way to accomplish that is by putting data to work, right? So there's this wonderful hashtag on Twitter, if you go check it out, hashtag put data to work, uh, and I love it. Uh, and, and, uh, and basically it's about saying, we have all this data, it's growing, uh, you know, as, as soon as you try to fit a curve to it, the curve changes, because it's kind of growing unbounded. And the beauty is we want it to, because in that data lies better patient care and outcomes, and in that data, once you actually understand it and start to harness it, lies better financial success for the organization. So that's what, that's what we're about here. Okay, and, and from Catalogic's perspective, Satyam, uh, so what's your angle here? What's the partnership all about? What do you guys bring to the table? So talking about data, snapshots are like gym memberships, right? You put data to work, it's snapshots are like, everybody has access to one, but very few actually use them. Right, so we want to put the data to work, we want to put your copies to work, and snapshots are the best way uh, to take a copy of your production data set and spin it up for uh, piece up environments, training environments, release, testing, development. All of these work can actually be done outside, through snapshots of data sets that are sitting on pure storage. But just to be clear, so the, you guys are the catalog for the snapshots, it's your snapshot stack. Absolutely, right? yeah. and that's, the, that's one key differentiator here in terms of the partnership that we have. Uh, you know, it's, it's all within the same data plane. So all of the data is absolutely captured, stored, snapshot, uh, snapshotted, and, and managed through Pure, right? And uh, Catalogic provides to us a very, very great catalog uh, integration to say, okay, how do I actually deal with this data and what do I do with it? And, and plus some more that we'll talk about here. Exactly. Okay, let's come back to the healthcare if we can for a second, Stu. Yeah. Because the healthcare, it's all about you know, meaning, electronic medical records, meaningful use, HIPAA compliance, you know, on and on and on. A lot of really not fun stuff, but really <laughs> important things, you know, Obamacare, et cetera. Yeah. Are we sort of primarily focused there, Vic, or is it, are we starting to see this notion of data value come into healthcare? Absolutely, we're starting to see notion of data value come into healthcare. The way that I like to describe it is that, you know, over the past 30 some years, we have built an amazing library or repository for healthcare data. This is data that we're just putting in, right? Uh, and when you go back to the hospital or to the doctor, they pull the data back out, they look at it for a few seconds and they come and see you for a 15 minute visit, right? Uh, and you've been waiting for two and a half hours at this point, right? So, so not great patient experience, and we're trying to change that as well. Right, surf uh, the web, right, see what's right, wrong exa with it. Exactly, yeah. right? Uh, uh, but, but what we're finding now is that there lies so much meaning in data in terms of actionable intelligence, not only to provide you better care and to take care of you, uh, but to also treat populations, right? And say, okay, let's, as a general population, make people healthier. So at, yes, we're learning from uh, sensors and cars. We're learning from the Internet of Things all over the place. Uh, and data, just in general, is central now to healthcare. 
everybody has taken data now, finally put it on the pedestal that it deserves to be on, and they're understanding that data matters in healthcare. All data matters. You know? So, so yeah. I wonder if you can bring us inside some of these customers. I remember when object storage first rolled out, it was like healthcare, oh great, we're going to have metadata, we're going to be able to use this, and it felt like it was like, oh well, we checked the box on compliance and put some stuff places, but we hadn't really been transforming the way data got used for healthcare. What are you seeing in your customer base? Any stories you can tell us? So, a couple of things to point out is all of these are have an electronic health record systems, right? Yeah. They actually sit on a lot of different databases. There's SQL, there's Oracle. Uh, there's also an inter-system cache database. Epic is one of the largest EHR environments, and it runs on inter-system cache. What we've done at this point is to kind of treat that cache database as a first-grade citizen. Uh, you, you know, Oracle and SQL have always been treated that way by all the other data management companies. We are elevating cache database, which is a huge player in the healthcare market. And, and delivering app consistent snapshots and replications as well. Not just on-premise, but also allow you a, a facility to go into the cloud. You just saw uh, uh, Deetson announce that you can actually now do snapshots and, and offload them to cloud as well. With us, you have the ability to orchestrate those snapshots and, and create app consistent snapshots and have them both on-premise and on cloud as well. So we act as the orchestration layer for all the snapshots and replication PR already provides. Um, and some people may use scripts today, but it's like, Owning Pure is like owning a Formula One car and, and, and having four ball tires with scripts, right? So we add the, the ability to actually create and manage all your data sets. As it changes, we keep up with it and, and run those orchestration for you. I'd like to add one thing there, actually, and Satya hit on some really great points. From, uh, from the business standpoint, what we're seeing, what I'm personally seeing is that as an evolution over time is that given the fact that everybody realizes data is important, right? What they're doing is they're bringing data back into centralized control within these, these IT organizations at healthcare, uh, healthcare organizations. Typically it's very siloed, departmental. It's coming back in, so the CIO is really getting a purview over and their arms around uh, all of the data. Now, this brings up additional challenges, right? So you have X number of copies for your environment. So copy data management is very important in healthcare, right? As we're growing the data and it's just going crazy, um, we can't also have multiple copies and just keep going crazy, right? There used to be a time, and I can speak personally about Epic, because I used to work at Epic for, for many years, right? At Epic, there used to be a time where we would basically come up with configuration in terms of trying to figure out how much storage you need for, not just for capacity, but for performance purposes. Uh, and you would end up with some ungodly number of copies, right, just to make sure you actually had uh, uh, your environments and also the performance. Uh, with data reduction technology, especially what we have at Pure here from a, from a, copy data, uh, from a data reduction standpoint for deduplication and compression, along with the copy data management pieces, you're able to sort of say, okay, I can bring some semblance to this entire house, right? And then the last part is, in terms of security, right, cybersecurity, with all the ransomware and everything else that's going on, you really want to have in healthcare peace of mind to say that not only do you have air-gapped uh, copies that you can actually bring back that are relevant, but you've gone through on a regular basis and proven organically that you can do this and you can do this within your SLAs and your SLOs. It also seems important to me that, that you can share many more you know, copies, virtual copies of data out of a you know, single flash instance. Absolutely. Yep. And then Catalogic obviously helps you, you manage that. But so, can you guys talk about the specific solution that you're sort of developing or partnering with others, sure. database partners or whomever for healthcare? Yeah, so I, I, can take, I can start out and then you can uh, take it from there, right Satya? So, so I think the, the way that we looked at this was to say, okay, what are the, data, what, what's the day in the life, right? What's the day in the life of storage and system administrators at these large healthcare organizations uh, that actually touch data? Uh, be they you know, snapshots or backups or clones or integrity checks or uh, restoration tests or what have you, right? Uh, and also understanding the environment strategy that folks like Epic and Allscripts and Meditech and Cerner and whoever else use, right? Uh, basically saying, okay, how can we take all of these things and apply a, a standard common framework to build the automation and orchestration and cataloging associated with it, plus the auditing associated with it, uh, and provide that as a all-in framework for our health organizations to take advantage of. Minimizing a significant amount of human intervention and interaction, which as we know, you know has, has issues. We run into these problems all the time. You hear from customers' horror stories you know, once a month 
uh, across the country, some or the other customer has an administrator who, with great intentions, has actually gone the wrong way and restored a snapshot of production from yesterday back AWS on production oops. instead yep. of <laughs> instead oops of happens and really and oops fast, happens, yeah. right? And that's fast. all we can say, right? <laughs> oops, right? Uh, but but that's sort of our goal is in terms of saying, you know, how can we actually take the burden away mm -hmm. so that they can keep the main thing the main thing, right? Focus on innovations and focus on partnering with the organization to help them accomplish their goals. So, Satya? Yeah, and, and, and the other piece to it, I mean, we, we talked about uh, ransomware. I mean, in, in healthcare space, what happened in, in, in Europe and UK was a huge thing. Uh, and, and a lot of the other solutions that deliver copy data management use an appliance story, right? So they want to actually move all your data set onto an appliance and run it off of there. What we deliver is basically in-place copy data management. Basically, the data sits on your storage, sits on the first grade storage that you bought and using, and with the ability to drive back to a snapshot point in time, we can actually immediately come up and run. So this is, again, going back to the Formula One analogy, right? Uh, you, you could run a spare tire, which is what all the appliances deliver. You, you have a problem, you could run a spare tire for a while, but at some point you have to take a downtime and go back to it. With us, it's a Formula One pit stop. You have a ready copy that is perfectly good, available for you to replace anytime you get a downtime. So we deliver the control and the orchestration layer, and we give you the ability to go back to your old production state at any point in time fairly quickly, and we allow you to exercise your data by creating test dev environments for your developers. We met the InterSystems team yesterday at Accelerate. They told us some of their UK customers are creating 40 copies of non-production data sets from their, old, from their production data sets. You know, for their app dev purposes, I'd that's like what to, we manage. I'd like to add on one thing there that's very interesting about the InterSystems piece. So I also worked at InterSystems for several years and, and have a really great relationship with them. Uh, one, of the, one of the applications that they have is something that we're working on very closely with them is InterSystems HealthShare, yeah, sure. right? Uh, and the, the unique challenge around HealthShare is that you have an environment that has multiple database instances that are loosely affiliated, but they still have logical consistency across them. So the, so the holy grail there, or the key there, is in terms of being able to provide uh, copy data management and application consistency right. across these instances. Yep. So that's kind of the work that we're doing together. Right. Yeah, and, and at that point, the storage becomes your common compute layer to some extent, right? Because if you want to take a snapshot across sure. 40 different systems that are all in different volumes in, in storage, the only way you could take an app consistent snapshot is to take a consistency group, or, uh, or right. Pure calls it protection groups. We have to be able to define that and take snapshots from the storage layer. That and fundamentally changing the data access you yeah. know, paradigm, really. Gentlemen, thanks so much for coming to theCUBE and sharing your story in healthcare, and, uh, and best of luck, really. Thank you. It. Thank you, you're, thanks, you're welcome. thanks too. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this short break. This is Pure Accelerate, this is theCUBE.